You're watching Inside Automotive with Jim Fitzpatrick. Hi everyone, Jim Fitzpatrick. Welcome into another edition of Inside Automotive right here in the CBT Automotive Network. On today's show, we are pleased to welcome Todd Catcher, who is managing partner at Digital Dealership System, a premier digital sign and kiosk solution for car dealers. Welcome into the show, Todd. Hey, thanks for having me today. Sure, we wanted to talk to you because we heard about your company, we heard about what you, your offering was to dealerships. We think it's pretty cool, and we love to bring new products to our deal, you know, our, our dealers that are viewing each day. And uh, when we saw this, we said we got to get this guy in here and find out what all the buzz is about. I mean, you guys transform the, you know, the customer experience for dealers. So tell us a bit about your background and then tell us about, about the company. Uh, basically, digital, deal, excuse me, digital dealership system started about 10 years ago. Okay. Uh, we are we focus on the in-store experience. So okay. throughout the customer journey, there's a lots of different opportunities for the dealership to make a unique impression on the customer mm -hmm. and to separate themselves from the competition. Yeah. And that's pretty much what we do. Sure. Screens inside the dealership, primarily customer facing, although right. we do have management tools as well that are connected to the DMS that will go ahead and talk to the customers throughout the journey to make them feel more comfortable right. and make the store stand out in a competitive market. Sure, sure. So um, talk to me about the in-store experience. You know, when you walk into a dealership right now, it can be uh, just a whole multitude of different things. But I think what you guys do successfully, and we've spoken to some of your dealers that said, man, this guy, it was, you know, af after uh, these guys coming in at, at, uh, at DDS, it was a totally different customer experience because 100%. they really brought our unique branding in the marketplace to the customer inside the store, not right. just outside the store. Right? Yeah, you gotta look at the average dealership in general, they're spending between fifty and $100,000 a month driving traffic to That's the right. store. That's right. And 99% of that or 90 plus percent of that is sure. spent digitally. Yeah. And then when they, they come into the store, that unique branding message that they spend so much money on is dropped or it's an analog way. Yeah. I was at a dealership yeah. last week and they went ahead and had eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper talking about pricing. They had an old uh, Dare to Compare board in the oh, service no. department that was that was written on a piece of paper stuck on a board wow. or a metal one that had like tape over the last year's prices. Why are we um, still doing that? They, they're, so they're, there's one yeah. that had a fluorescent board that had the little the the, the, the little the, the um, little the, marker. The little, yeah, the thing. <laughs> um, on the sales side, they had if they have anything at all, they have like a, a board that has the uh, has one of those a dry erase board yeah you know yeah. a whiteboard uh, to oh greet people God. when they come in if they have right. anything at all right and right. then they're tracking sales on a piece of glass in the back or or dry erase board or a sure. whiteboard that yeah. shows what i say that the sales of yesterday's past because it doesn't never erase a hundred percent that's right and so when you start integrating technology into the the customer journey when you walk into a store you can really tell that a store is different. Now sure. the manufacturer has mandates, and you could call that a vanilla box, it's a, it's a retail term. Sure. So the, the dealership or the manufacturer mandates certain things, right. from the tile to the furniture right. and all these different things. That's right. Every dealership has, every manufacturer has certain mandates like any other franchise. Mm -hmm. McDonald's has it, yeah. Chipotle has That's it, right. you know, That's right. restaurants have it all the time. And what happens is that when, when dealerships though are very unique in that they're selling the same product to other dealerships, mm -hmm. like a Toyota is a Toyota is a Toyota, sure. but they spend so much money in their market competing against each other. That's right. McDonald's has a national campaign buy right. or a regional campaign buy. Right. The individual McDonald's don't advertise their own branding message to make you go to the one that's on right. 8th Street versus 12th Street. <laughs> that's right. That's right? right. Imagine if Starbucks yeah, did that, that's right. right? Yeah. You know, our place is better yeah. because of this. That's right. Well, but what happens when you walk in is that it's the same vanilla box. Yeah, it is. It but is. the dealerships are different because they're say they have a, uni a lot of business opportunities to be unique in that's the market. Right. That's right. They could price right. their products uniquely in the market. Sure. Whereas if you go to five Starbucks in the same local area, it's, gonna be the it's all going to be the same price. Sure, sure. So and it, the coffee is going to be made the same way. That's right. So with with car dealerships, even though they're a franchise model, they from their finance programs right. to the way they run their store to the way that they market themselves to their website, yeah. all different. That's and right. And they spend a lot of money trying to be different. That's right. That message drops when somebody comes in the store, whether they come in the front door yeah. or they come in the service door. That's right. And so with our products and our solutions, we make that that unique experience when you walk in. Right. And you could have multiple brands in the same area using our products and having a different experience based on what the dealership wants to invest sure. in that sure. service. Sure. And that's what dealers want. I mean, right? I mean, at the end of the day, that's kind of the final step 
that seems to be missed by many dealers, right? Is and, and until you bring it up to say, hey, if you walk into your own store, based on what I just saw digitally, either online or even on TV commercial, sure. a lot of dealers are still running TV mm -hmm, for are. that brand, those branding campaigns yeah. and those those jingles and those great logos. <laughs> but yeah. you'll walk into a store, to your point, and not see that currently, right? right? And what we've seen is that uh, NADA did a stat uh, or a report several mm -hmm. years ago that said the customer experience, people will drive further and pay more for a better customer sure. experience. no question. Now, while dealers try to hire the best staff, if every dealer hires the best staff, then that's equal across everybody. That's right. And, and it's not necessarily true. You're going to have better staff some places than others. That's right. But at the same time, they, they do the best that they can regarding the staff. Right. And they that's train right. their staff the best sure. that they can. At the same time, though, when they come into the store, the, they, they spend so much money with that message. They spend so much money in their advertising agency but very few agencies actually do anything inside the dealership that's right and so we could be that technology partner for agencies just like Facebook is their tech is their part and Google are their technology partners for outside the dealership right we could be the technology partner inside the dealership to bring in that message to create what I call a 360 or comprehensive marketing message sure, sure. not many dealers see that but the dealers that do reap the benefits that's right and you know for the customers that are in your waiting room and mm -hmm. as you know um, you know, many, many of my customers when I was a dealer, they'd be all over the, they'd be outside walking around sure. the inside the showroom. They'd, you know, get a cup of coffee or then walk over to the sales manager or walk through to see the new cars while they're waiting for their right. other cars. And it's a great opportunity to talk about what's happening in that dealership at that time, right? right. Because behind every service customer, there's uh, three or four more units that could be sold. 100%. You know, maybe their daughter or son's looking for a car or their, or their spouse or whatever, maybe a good friend of theirs. So it, it's, a, it's another opportunity to hit your customers, right? Even sure. though you've already sold them a car, it's a great opportunity, right? So as they're moving from station to station, they're seeing this messaging, right? Sure. Well, one of the things that dealerships miss out on the customer journey is that they're so focused on the front door. That's right. And what comes in the front door. Yeah. And it's always it's always because the leads are bad. Or it's yeah. always There's always some reason why they're not selling. But if sure. they actually went ahead and marketed to their existing customers, yep. remember a service customer just by numbers, um, it, about 10 to 20%, depending on the brand, are going to go into the lounge area. Yeah. But most of the service customers yeah. are, they, they do have pickup and drop off services these sure, days, sure. but many of them are still going to, the majority of them are still dropping the car off themselves. Yeah. So they have an opportunity in the service drive to yep. communicate with them. So we have DMS connected service status boards yep. that draw attention to the screen. Sure. And then at the same time on the same screen, offer a marketing platform. Sure. So it gives them the opportunity to say, hey, why don't you take a test drive while you wait? Yep. Now dealers, dealers recognize this, but they're not doing anything about it. Mm. So they know that the, that the service customer is somebody who most likely bought a car from them. Yeah, for sure. They have time on their hands yep. and you have your hands on their vehicles. That's right. Why don't you incentivize them that's right. to take a test drive while they wait? That's right. Or, so or not even just tell them they could take a test drive, right. but actually incentivize them. That's right. Maybe you get free service today. Yeah. Maybe you get $100 off your service today that's by right. taking a test drive. Maybe you get a Starbucks gift card. Maybe you get a gift. <laughs> maybe you get a Starbucks gift card. That's right. So the opportunity is what are you doing to incentivize, not just educate yeah. them. That's right. Like Don't just tell them we sell tires. Yeah. Give them a reason to buy the tires. That's right. Don't tell them that you can take a test drive. They already know that. That's right. But incentivize them into the reason why. So what we want to do is get them to look at our boards mm -hmm. and then also monetize the eyeballs using a web 1.0 theory. Sure, so sure. back in the when the web first came out, yeah. they would say, how do you monetize the eyeballs? It's sure. great that you have this traffic. So with the DMS connected service status yeah. board, we actually combine a, D, a service status with a service service menu okay. and service marketing and okay. sales and finance marketing all on one board, nice. which makes it yeah. so that way while we're looking at the eyeballs, we're also going ahead and marketing to them as well. Right. And then right. as that journey goes into the lounge area, we have five different lounge TV products that they could pick and choose from because it's not mandated from us. We okay. want to we want to create the solutions. Okay. That are that are for the dealership, whether sure, they want live sure. TV, commercial free TV, pre okay. pre configured TV. And your company handles all of that. It's 100%. one stop shopping. It's a it's a turnkey opportunity for the dealer. They don't have to manage all of those different elements, right? Yeah, they, they'll the, they'll come to your company and say this this is what we want, right? Exactly. And you so, take it from. So them. one of the great things about our company is that about eight six years ago we decided to be a managed service provider. Okay. Uh, that's a big differentiator in the industry because other providers charge more for that service. Okay. We realize that the more that you give a staff member at a dealership, the less they do. They only right. have so much time and brain power during the day. Sure. So if you give them one more thing, manage the digital signs, oh. well, then something's going to have to get. That's right. Plus, they have to learn something new, which whenever you learn something new, that's there's right. going to be a learning curve. That's right. So the opportunity is to go ahead and provide them with a, a solution that they don't have to worry about. Yep. So they could send us the content, we'll put it up on the screen for them, yep. send us a price change, do it for them. 
And when we're connected to the DMS, it automatically updates. Right. We're connected to every DMS that's out there. Wow. So that's there, great. there's none that we're not officially integrated with. Sure. So the opportunity is to go ahead and, and well, we started in the service area and the service drive. Mm -hmm. Now as that customer journey goes into the lounge, we, we're the only digital sign provider that can integrate service status in their customer lounge TV. Nice. So while they're watching TV, which you know captures eyeballs, oh, yeah. their name's also on the screen. Right. Wow. And it's there all the time. It also creates a little bit of empathy, we sure. hope, for the dealership. Because most that we've been trained, the dealer, the customers have been trained that who members in the lounge yeah. are the only people that you're working on. That's right. But most dealers are going to have 75 to 150 ROs in a oh, day. Yeah. Oh, and so sure. if you have those names rolling on the screen, the customer knows, oh, you have more stuff going on than just me. <laughs> That's and right. so the opportunity is there right. to go ahead and give a little bit of empathy, but also communicate with the customers. Sure. Remember, the two reasons why customers complain most in car dealerships is lack of communication and lack of transparent pricing. Right. And our solutions handle both of those. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So if I'm a dealer, and I'm just kind of spitballing here, but if I'm a dealer and you're in my Toyota store, but I have nine other brands, mm -hmm. okay? And that customer may not know about those nine other sure. brands, right? And as you know, if I'm a Toyota customer today, I might be an Audi customer tomorrow. Right. I might right. be a Mercedes Benz customer. I might be, I want to move up to a BMW or what have sure. you. And this same group sells those. Yes. Is that another way to reach that customer through other through other uh, brands that we've got to 100%. say, hey, so, you know, today you're driving a, a Toyota. Thank you so much for your business. Or did you know that ABC Auto Group yes. also provides these other fine automobiles? That's great. When we do a group deal, we see a lot of that type of marketing, sure. and we suggest that as well to cross brand because they might not own another. Uh, let's say another Mercedes store, right. it, or, or they're at a Toyota store and they want to get to an Infinity, but that right. Infinity store they own may be outside the specific That's region, right. or That's right. they may be uh, they may, there may be other Infinity ones in that area, sure. right? So the opportunity to go ahead and say, hey, go call our other one, right. and we'll happily take your trade for this vehicle that's right. to there. So we have a trade-in program regardless of brand within our group. Oh, that's nice. But yeah. you have to educate yeah. the customer. So regardless of the message yep. the or the, the goal of the message, sure. you want to, the, the, the screens provide them an opportunity mm -hmm. to educate customers on things that they may not have known about right. without having to put maybe a salesperson in an awkward position where they don't feel comfortable speaking to somebody that's right and it happens it's kind passively. of that, that neutral territory that somebody can go over much like you might go to a, you know to the mall and uh, say hey where are we what are the other stores exactly. here and how do I get there you know you're not going to go or necessarily the information desk and say hey where's the you know where's the Nordstrom you yeah know, store well you're not going to go to a dealership right? and say hey what other brands do you have but <laughs> getting right. that education that's right and learning that so we could even put finance programs on the screen sure. we could if they're doing a commercial free what we call DDS TV okay. which is a in-store pre-screened content okay dealerships can add their finance programs right. to their customer lounge TV program, nice. which allows them to go ahead and educate people sure. on the programs that are available. Sure. So when they're thinking about a vehicle or the first time a lot of people hear about those finance programs is in the box. Right. That's right. And now the, their, right. their immediate reaction is no, 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 no. I know. They don't know anything about it. That's right. That's and so right. they think they're being hard closed on something right. and they've been trained to yeah. say no. That's right. A lot of those programs are very good, yeah. but that's the first time they've ever heard about it. Totally So agree. if they're educated on it beforehand yep. in the customer lounge, the next time they go to purchase a vehicle, they'll yeah. be like, huh, I heard about that. Can you tell also, me more about it? It also fills that time on a Saturday afternoon when, when you're maybe you know five or six or 10 deep to oh, get yeah. into the F&I office. Uh, it gives that customer something to do. To exactly. go, well, wait a minute, I'm, I'm watching this all about you know the, the service contracts that are available or the, the, the wheel and tire sure. programs or how that works. It would also seem to me this is a great opportunity for the president or the owner of the dealer group oh, yeah. to come on with a personalized message, that right? really well. Because so many people will say, well, who, you know, I'm buying, I'm spending $60,000 on a car, but who am I really doing business the with? Names on the, the names on the right. uh, on the building, That's but right. yet they don't know who that is. So That's we right. actually recommend that when people use our DDS TV is to create internal pieces specifically for right. our screen. Now they could also right. utilize that on YouTube. Sure. But I would suggest getting having a video company come out to yep. the store, which costs about five grand yeah. for the day, to come out and do 10 to 20 clips. Yep. And do your yep. service managers, That's right. That's do, right. do your president, do your GM, yeah. do your main people yeah. at the store. But then go ahead and have all your staff members yeah. go ahead and say, do a 15 second clip. Hey, yeah. I'm Bob. I used to play football with the local team down That's here. Right. My That's favorite right. team is this. Yeah. My I yeah. do this. I drive this vehicle. I like to do this on the weekends. That's right. 15 seconds. And now it becomes a personal experience and the staff members that's right. become local celebrities. That's right. And then now they now they have you talk 
talk about the customer retention, what about employee retention? That's right. And now the employee feels that they're part of the team. Yeah, that's right. And sometimes people will come in and not know that the person they, that sits next to them at church, you know, every Sunday or maybe plays, uh, you know, soccer with their little kid. Now all of a sudden it comes up on the screen right. and they go, oh, I didn't know that guy works here. Well, where sure. is he? Let me ask for him. Yeah. You know what I mean? My buddy. I didn't so, know my buddy worked here. I didn't know my buddy works here. And now exactly I can buy a right. car from yeah. my buddy. What about testimonials? What about if, if a dealership says, Great I can stuff. line up 10 for that, for that video shoot, I can line up 10 customers mm -hmm. that have you know, done business with us over the years and now put them on there. Yep. So the opportunity that, that they have in the lounge is really to speak to their lounge customer. Right. Remember, they know who that customer is right. in a lot of different ways. Right. But mainly in generic terms, sure. remember that person is somebody who is choosing to service their vehicle there. Right. Whether they purchase there or not, yep. their goal is to get them to purchase their next vehicle there. Right. Right. And now we also, if they're sitting in the lounge, they have at least an hour. Yeah, yeah. What are you sure. going to do with them for that hour? That's right. And what are you going to put on the TV screen that captures their attention yep. and is not political, doesn't make them upset, yeah, doesn't sure. get them frustrated? That's right. You know, because a lot, today's TVs, we actually had a, a customer who wanted live TV because right. he had, we had one with Fox and one with CNN. <laughs> <laughs> and they had and they built a wall in between. They oh, literally did this. That's unbelievable. And dealerships wow. are doing these types of things, that's but they crazy. still want to market to the people because they realize sure. that they want to capture the eyeballs of the customer. Right. And that's why they have TVs in the first place. Right. Why not market on the TV that you have? Right. Right. And that's something that yeah. we're building walls now, right? We're in literally, dealerships. literally, we're literally and building figuratively. walls. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so talk to about some of the new technologies and the new products. I know you guys are going to be at NAD, which we'll want to talk about in a minute. But sure. talk to us about some of the new stuff because I heard that you guys are working on some really cool things. Yeah, I appreciate. It. So we've had, we've been integrated with 10 plus different DMSs okay. for the last six plus years. Okay. Um, we are the technology leader in digital science where we have many integrated products that are customer facing. Mm -hmm. And then we also have our sales leaderboard program that replaces the dry erase board. Okay. Well, with right now it comes with eight different reports. They're customizable and dealerships can extend those reports. Nice. Um, during That's great. We've been for the last eight months, we've been working on uh, what we're calling a dashboard. Okay based on all of our products are based on customer feedback, okay. dealer feedback. Okay. So one of the things they've said is that we want more reports, but to okay. ourselves, right. not necessarily to the customers okay. or to that customers can see. Right, right. And so we've created a dashboard and the dashboard not only does, provides more screen time, screen mm -hmm. reports, mm -hmm. but then also goes ahead and has reports on a desktop okay. and mobile devices. Okay. So we've actually put the leaderboard onto the desktop. Okay. We've also gone ahead and extended to have leaderboard pro, okay. which is going to have additional customizable reports. Nice. And then we also have a mobile platform that allows right. individual staff members to log in wow. and see how they're doing and only see their numbers. Wow. Not just for sales though, we've actually extended it to include inventory, mm -hmm. to include service, uh, and and we're and finance Fantastic. as well as well as other areas of the store. Right. One of the goals is to was to make it extremely simple to use. Right. So we have a single sign in. So okay. if you're a VP of ten stores, sure, you could actually see how the stores are working as a whole. Okay. You could also go ahead and say that you're every day you go into a different store. Right. You could just go with your single sign in. You could click and go from one store to the next and see a snapshot. Nice. On one page of how that store is doing. Yeah. How many appointments they have today. Sure. How many? What their what their sales are today? What their trend is? And yeah. you can look at month over month right. numbers to see how they're doing before you walk in. And right. then you go to say you go to another store that same day. Go ahead and click another button without having to log out, log back in. Oh, nice! You can see it all in one place. So yeah. we also wanted to make it extremely affordable because mm -hmm. there's some great tools out there for dealerships mm -hmm. that are significantly more advanced than ours. Right. That cost twenty five hundred dollars a month. Right. And our whole dashboard program with all that I just said, right. including the digital screens, right. is going to be less than a thousand dollars a month. Gee. But our regular sales leaderboard now is, is our, one of our most popular products. And then our sales leaderboard pro is going to put right. it into the mobile devices and then have memorized reports and a bunch of different things that they could get. So they'll have desktop. And that's ready to go. I mean, are you launching it at any? Yeah, we, ha we okay. have it out. It's in beta okay. in a couple customers okay. now. Um, and it's okay. completely redone. We moved because of the popularity of our digital science solutions for right. that are integrated. Right. The amount of data that's going through our mm -hmm. system because we're automatically updating at least every 15 minutes from mm -hmm. every DMS. Sure. So if you're connected to several hundred dealerships with those programs, mm -hmm. 
uh, it's a lot of information, especially when you talk about how many ROs are going through that system on a regular basis. Then you're going to go ahead and look at uh, all the data that's coming in when people are running their own customized reports. Right. So we moved to like an Amazon Web Services sure. program that allows us to scale easier. Okay. But now we're adding many, many more features like okay. gamification where we could create uh, goals for the staff members. When they get certain goals, they get an award. Oh, that's cool. Um, and then we track the award so, they, so when they log in, yeah. they only see their information. Okay. And they have their goals. So when you set, sit down with a staff member, right. you could say, what are your goals for the month? They could log into our system, put in their goals for gross or for units, yeah, yeah. and it shows up in the system for service and for sales. Nice. And then the salesperson can log in and see their information down to the deal level. Wow. So they could zoom all the way down to the deal level and right. see all the information that's involved in that okay. specific deal for that okay. specific person. Wow. And the managers can then go ahead and see that above that. That is extremely comprehensive. Yeah. So that I mean, we've been this, working this had on to that. be in a development for some time. We've been in it for about eight or nine months, and then okay. um, actually a lo little bit longer than that, but okay. the idea is that we've, we didn't want to launch with just a little bit of stuff and move sure. our current platform over to AWS. We okay. wanted to add, so the Leaderboard Pro is right. going to have everything that customers have really wanted, okay. and that's at a, a fraction of the price, and then the dashboard is when we also include inventory and service and okay. everything else in there as well. So right. we still want to come out with programs that dealerships have asked for, mm -hmm. but then also come out with them at affordable mm -hmm. levels and then have them scale up if they want to. Okay. So here's our basic leaderboard program. If you want more services right. and more integrations and more uh, more functionality, okay. then here's the next level. And if you want more, there's next. So we came up with that ABC approach okay. for that service. Wow, that's fantastic. Super excited Good. about it. For, you know, for dealers that are watching, you guys are going to be at NADA with a booth at 4701 uh, West. Right. We're going to show all that information on the screen. But, uh, you know, we've said this before, before on other products that we've brought to you dealers. Um, you know, now's the time to get your house in order. I know business is good. You're selling every single car you get your hands on. You say, well, what do we need that for? That's going to change. I assure you that within the next 12 months, as these lots begin to fill back up, you're going to have to have that differentiator in your store. This is a great way to do that. And if you're talking about a thousand bucks a month, I think your number's too low, by the way. I think you should increase <laughs> that. Uh, you dealers know what I'm talking about. That's a bar tab for a lot of dealers at NADA. So uh, congratulations on, on your amazing program here. I invite dealers to go out, check it out. These are the kind of things that we want to bring to you guys out there. This is innovative. It's something the time has come that you take your marketing that you've been pushing outside and bring it into your store. We talked about a lot of great ideas. Bringing your service manager in on a message, bringing yourself in as a dealer principal, bringing your top salespeople in or your salespeople and your customer testimonials. It, it sounds like to me, uh, Todd, if, if they can think it, you can do it, right? Yeah. So th that's a huge opportunity for dealers right now. And, and now's the time. They say, what do they say? Fix the roof you know, when the sun is shining, not when, you know, in the, when the storm's coming, right? And the storm's coming, inventory's going to increase, and these are the types of things that you need to do to differentiate your store from the other Ford dealer down the block or the other Toyota dealer, whatever it is you're selling in your, in your market. So Todd Catcher, Managing Partner at Digital Dealer Systems, I want to thank you so much for joining us on the show. These are just the kind of products, as I, as I said, we want to bring to our viewing audience. So thanks so much. Hey, thanks for having me. Great. Thanks for watching Inside Automotive with Jim Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick, Pash, Kane, Lewis, Greenfield, Reed, Dawson, Lopes, Rice. The best lineup in retail automotive. CBTNews.com. Subscribe today.